to all get you started on the My World Zoo task. So the first thing I've done, I've opened Excel here and I've got to save my spreadsheet as My World Data. So I'm just going to do that quickly. So file save as and call it My World Data. Saving it into my college folder here. Save. Okay. Now gives me some data here and it says enter the visitor numbers into your spreadsheet it's up to you how you structure the table rows and columns and you format the table use some formulae and then we've got some more data going in here so I've got to design my table ready for all four chunks of data so what I'm going to do I can see the animals are the same each time and then it's just the years that change and the numbers obviously so I'm going to leave a space here for my heading so in here I'm going to put my date ranges and then here I'm going to put my animals, tortoises, giraffes, tigers, bats, and then you put your numbers in. Um, then format the table so the headings are different colour to the data. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to format along here because I know I've got a few more bits to come in here, different dates. So I'm just going to format this whole block because whatever I type in here will go that colour. So I'm going to make it blue, bold, slightly bigger. Double click that gap there. I'm going to double click on the line here and it will make the cell fit. I'm just going to do that as well here. That's what I'm going to make. Um, I could also change my font. If I want to, okay. Change the style of the table to add colour. So here you can have um, have a play around with some table styles here. Uh, this will alternate the colours um, and once you put a table style in you then get these tick boxes to choose from where you can turn header rows off and things like that but just have a play with that um, and see what styles you come up with um, and then here it says use a formula to show the total number of visitors and the average number so I'm going to put some headings in here because we want the total for this um, period of time here so this is going to be total Average. I'm going to change the font of these. I'm going to right align them and I'm going to make them a different colour. Uh, let me make that, I think. And make it a different font. So the total here, I put in there, and then the average. So how many people visited the zoo altogether in this time was 9,066 and what was the average number of visitors per animal? 2,590. 0.285714 which isn't that helpful. I'm going to format that cell because this is people we're talking about. You can't have 0.28 of a person. So I'm going to go to format cells and get rid of those decimal places. Um, so if we go to number, put that down to zero. Right, now I need to add in my next bit of data. So we've got April to June. Um, there. July to September. And the numbers that go in as you go. Okay, so you just keep going and adding in your data and then finally October December. 